Hey guys, today we are using APT Design version 2, the new version of the software, but I believe you can do everything we will do today in the previous version as well. Alright, so the task is to wrap a text around the image, something you will do very often when putting your posters, books, flyers together in Publisher. By default, if you drag just this image inside a picture frame, I drag it over, it's covered the text because it's above on the layer panel. Of course, I can drag it to be lower in the layer panel and that, in that case, the text will cover the image. That's the default state, but that's not what we need here. We need like the text run away from the image and reposition itself automatically. So there's a really common mistake here. It's not really a mistake, but a little misunderstanding of the UI of the software. If people think about, all right, I need this text to wrap around the image. So I click on the text over here at the top. You can see show text wrap settings. People go here, it's none. So we change it to, let's say tight. And then we move the picture in and nothing happened. That's like the common <laughs> first reaction, like what's wrong? And the thing is, we are not setting up wrapping settings on the text. We can move it back to none, take a look. The thing is, we are setting text wrapping settings on the image because the text will wrap around this object. So that's the one little thing to remember. So we take the image here and set it on the image. All right. And let's give it a try right now. Take a look, the text is running away from my image. So it's flowing all around the image. This is circle, so quite interesting shape for the text to position itself around. So it's working. So that's the good news is if you set up this on the image, you don't need to, you know, set it up on every text frame you got. So that's kind of logical here. All right, let's say it's here. Let's go back to those settings and we can make some adjustments. So we can change the distance on the left, top. So we can manually make some little adjustments here and there. All right, we can also have both sides or only one side wrap. In that case, I got two separate frames here. So that's not a difference. What else can we set this up? We can make it none, of course, like before. Jump, so we could just above and below the image square like this and tight as I used before. In some cases you will use inside or edge. In case of edge looks like nothing changed, but actually there's text below the image. So that's not what you want to use right now. We need to use tight in this case. All right. So that's how I wrap this text around my image and Let's try to do the same thing around the shape. So that's a standard shape. I draw it within the program from this long shape selection menu here. That's donut shape. Let's make the hole even larger by pulling this orange control points. All right. And now the same thing. At first, nothing. And then I setting up wrapping. And in this case, let's try one by one again, jump square, tight. And as you can see, the shape is also showing the text in this empty area. So that's something to remember if you got like unusual shape with the hole inside. That's something you can creatively use in your project like this, for example, right? It's going to be like some huge. Let's move it here. All right. And we will maybe reorder that to be below the picture. So there's some strange effect, of course. We need to make some more adjustments maybe and stuff like that. All right, so as you can see, the text is wrapping around the shape and also around the image itself because we add those settings on the shape and on the image, not on the text. All right, so that's the easy part. And I want to talk about one more use scenario because most tutorials ends here and that's not all we need to know about wrapping text. What if you want to use image in the background? Like I got this huge image here. It's white 
color so you cannot see it easily so let me just grab it there's this huge image it's now below the text so i will grab it and drag it above the text yeah that's the image so i got this nice image for my article and i want to use it in the background but i don't want text to overlap with this key elements of the image like hands but i want the text to cover the wide area of the image or blur area of the image in other case all right so how can we do that if i use the same approach right now if i just change the settings wrap tightly around the image that's what i got the program will not recognize that this area is wide and could be used for text all right that's not what program can recognize right now if it's cut out png without backdrop yes this may work no problem but in my case i got this image that i plan to use in the backdrop and how can i put the text in those empty areas in some cases they'll be not white they'll be like blur texture nice areas that we can fill with text even though they're not white areas so how can we do that we can we got like two ways to approach this I think three ways, but I will show you the <laughs> two ways in this tutorial, the easiest ways. All right, so one thing we can do, of course, we will get rid of those wrapping settings. We don't need that. And let's move back to the background. So this image is behind the text. I need it to be really large across two pages, nicely like this. All right, so one thing we can do is we can actually draw our custom shape. So let's try to do that with pen tool. Many people are afraid of that tool. It's not that scary. And in this case, we don't need to be precise at all. So I got pen tool, pick some random color that is not important right now. I will click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. Don't just click. If you click without dragging, you will make straight line, very sharp line. That's not what I need for my case. So I click and drag, you can make mistakes here. You don't need to be precise at all. We're just drawing shape that will cover the area we want to protect from having the text in that area. We don't want text in that area. All right, so I just click and drag, click and drag until I go back to the first point to close my shape. All right, I close my shape, I can put color in so that's what i draw with pen tool beautiful not really so you don't need to be very precise as i mentioned and now what we can do is we can put wrap settings on this new shape not on the image below right so here tight and now the text is escaping is wrapping around this new shape but the shape is covering our image that's uh, not a problem because we can actually read move the fill color here and even though i remove the fill color the shape is still there it's just invisible but the text know that the shape is there and is wrapping around this shape so it's look like it's wrapping around those hands but that's actually my additional shape there all right my curve at the top and if i need to make some changes i can easily use the node tool and even after i draw it i can make changes to it no problem so that's really nice option for you if you need to make some wrap invisible wrap on your page let's say okay you got something in the backdrop and you want to wrap the text around that object you can make this invisible shape and wrap the text around that shape instead and you will get a result that you need so that's the one way of doing that and let me show you the second way let's get rid of that shape everything back <laughs> to this state and what we're going to do next we're going to even get rid of all of those text boxes all right text frames okay and another thing we can do is we can create a custom shape and then fill this custom shape with the text itself so you can for example you let's start with the shape not with the pen tool this time to make it easier so rectangle tool let's say i draw a rectangle tool over here let's put it color inside so you can see it and then i will duplicate that like two rectangles to fill this page all right and now 
I will customize them by first unlocking them. So I need to click convert to curve on one and convert to curve on another. From now I can simply use, let's say, node tool to drag some nodes and customize this shape. All right, let's do it here as well. Customize this shape like this. And we want to make it like even close, closer here. So you can touch the line with the node and click to add new nodes. As you can see that sharp nodes, not like before. Before we got nice curvy nodes, not a problem. We can click on the node and then here at the top, we can convert sharp node into smooth one. All right, so that's better here. Smooth node here, you can even go closer by adding more nodes if you want so we can have nice border here you can add one more node here to make it more organic all right and we will need one more rectangle down here you could actually draw it by hand with pen tool but i will start with rectangle because i think by having this rectangle and then reshaping it that would be much easier for many people Keep in mind, before you can reshape this rectangle with no tool, you must convert to curve. And then we can play with those curves here, adding new ones, turning them into smooth one. All right, and now we are ready to convert this shape into text frame. Let's get rid of the color. We don't need that for our text frame. And we will go to, we will just simply right click on it. That's the easiest way, I guess. And then we can select convert to text frame. All right, and now if you got your text tool, you'll be able to type anything you want inside. And of course, temporary, we can just fill it with some sample text, so text menu and insert filler text. All right, it's here. Let's do the same thing with this frame. Get rid of the color, right click, convert to text frame. All right. And then I will do it with this one. No color, right click, convert to text frame as well. So we got those custom text frames, custom shapes. Now we can, I can grab this. We can flow the text between them. Perfect. So now the text is flowing across them and we got this gap so we can see the picture below because of the custom shape. We don't need to use only square or circle as the text frame. All right. You can draw anything you want. You can use pen tool, you can use different shapes and then you can turn it into custom text frame. All right. So that's a second way of doing that. Remember the first way we draw a invisible shape and then text just wrap around that instead of the picture in the background. So that was way number one. Way number two, we actually draw custom frames for the text to fill where we need the text to be. All right. And the first method, of course, the basic one, the default one is to simply add a wrapping settings here at the top. Normally it's none. We can make jump, square, tight, inside edge all right so the tight is the most commonly used we can adjust margins distance between text and image and shape and then text will move around us keep in mind we set up this on the object and not on the text frame all right i hope this was helpful thank you for today and i will see you in my next tutorial bye